Nothing will stop me. Can you hear? Can I hear you say better? Amen. Amen. Yeah. How many of you need transformation this night? Amen. Take up an offering in your hand and just drop it on the altar. Say, Father, with this seed I'm dropping on the altar, transform me. Transform me. Transform me. Transform me. Transform me. Transform me. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah.
Any time you have a prophet in your midst, it's a blessing. Somebody shout amen. 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 You will not miss a way, especially when you have a prophet as a pastor or as a preacher or as a, a church. Anything the enemy declares, he shall not go. Tonight I'm going to let you to pray because he has taught us. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. I want us to get to one scripture that, that will provoke you for prayer. Amen. Come on, come on. And I'm going to let us pray because the theme of the meeting is transformation. Somebody said transformation. Transformation. Now, some of you, whenever we talk about transformation, it's, it takes a lot of things. But tonight, as my friend has taught you the teachings, I'm going to also let you into prayer. Amen. And I'll take a scripture from you. First Samuel. Amen. First, first Samuel chapter ten. Amen. Quickly, then we're gonna pray tonight. Ten, verse six. I want somebody to read for me. First Samuel ten six says. And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee. And the Spirit of the Lord shall come upon thee. And thou shalt prophesy with them. And you shall prophesy with them. And shall be turned into another and man. And you shall be turned into another man. Amen. Somebody tell somebody say, you shall be turned into another man. You shall be turned into another man. Now, that is where we get the transformation. Somebody shall amen. Amen. My friend has talked to you about teaching about the how prophetic and how people get their blessing and it's really all the teaching is everybody has a way of getting get in contact with the oil Amen. now tonight i'm going to provoke you for prayer because some of you seated here i'm a preacher i'm a preaching prophet now some of you are seated here there are certain things you want god to transform it could be your business it could be your finances it could be your, your marriage it could be something that I want God is going to touch people who are actually desiring a transformation. How many of you are believing God for transformation? Amen. Somebody say, I'm believing God. I believe in God. For transformation. Amen. Somebody say, transformation. Transformation. Now, prophetic transformation. Tonight, we're going to, I'm going to let you to pray. Because anytime my friend bring the teaching, I just tell you up on the way. There are people in the Bible who came in contact with the prophet and their destiny were transformed. There are many people, and tonight, if this three days revival we are having, whatever has been, been an obstacle, whatever has been a burden that you want God to touch, it could be your children, it could be your finances, it could be your business, it could be your career, that God, I want you to touch this thing. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight, I'm going to lead you to a prophetic prayer. And as you are praying, the presence of God is here to transform it for you. Somebody say, Lord, Lord transform, my destiny. transform my destiny. Transform my finances. Transform my finances. Say, Lord, Lord transform, my career. transform my career. The Bible said, the prophet Paul, when you read the scripture, the prophet Paul oil upon the man, and he said, as you are going, you shall meet a company of prophets. And when you meet them, a, a spirit shall come upon you. And when that spirit come upon you, you, even though you are not a prophet, but you shall prophesy with them. And when you are prophesying with them, all of a sudden, the Bible said you shall turn into another man. Now listen, a man who is not a poor, listen, here it talks about what you don't have and all of a sudden, you, you get it. That is transformation. You don't have a car and all of a sudden you have a car. It's a transformation. Somebody shall not hear you. You don't have a house and all of a sudden you buy a property. Your life has been transformed. You have not gotten five million dollars or five million or five hundred thousand dollars in your accounts, hundred thousand dollars, and all of a sudden money enter your account. Your destiny has been transformed. You have no clothes and you have a new clothes. All of a sudden, something has transformed. And ladies and gentlemen, before 2023, 23 is over, I prophesy with my eyes open. Transformation is coming for you. Transformation is coming for you. So I receive transformation. I receive transformation. I receive transformation. Transformation comes in many dimensions. It can come to your children. It can come to your husband. It can come to your top people you are praying for, your children. Sometimes you have a stubborn child and everything doesn't work out. The child is very stubborn. Anything that things have become tough. As you are going to pray tonight, 
and that you are going to make a declaration. If your child is in America, if your child is somewhere and things are not working, transformation. I see transformation going there. Amen. I see transformation coming to your daughter. Amen. Your daughter is talked off. Tonight is a program of transforming. Amen. And if you believe it and pray it, there shall be a transformation. Amen. Somebody say, Lord. Lord, I need a transformation. transformation. Every man or woman needs a change. Transformation, in other words, is prophetically, it's a corrupt word change, a transform. Tonight, lift up your hand. There are many people say, Lord, Lord, I need a transformation. I need a transformation. A man like Jabez. Jabez prayed for transformation. And God brought transformation to him. Jabez cry unto the Lord. He said, Oh Lord, enlarge my coast. I can't stay here anymore. And the Bible says, God sent a transformation. I'm preaching for people who are here. I don't know how many of you who are who have a passion. Say, God, from now to December, let there be a transformation in my life. Let's talk about it. How many of you are believing God for transformation? Say, say Lord. Lord, transform my life. Transform my life. There are many people in that I can give you. The Bible says a man, a woman like who was sitting at the pool of Bethesda. She had been there for long, but she had been yearning for transformation. He had been expecting for transformation. He had been yearning all this while. If you are here, you have a company or business, you are believing God for something to happen suddenly. Believe me, after this service, suddenly transformation is coming for you. Yeah. It's a sudden miracle is coming for you. Yeah. After today, you shall hear new news in anybody. Yeah. Somebody shall receive it. Yeah. Mama, come, come. Mama, come to me. Transformation is coming for you and your children. Take. 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 Take.